And now on Showcase, we have Tara Fitzgerald with us. Hello, and thank you for joining Hello, us. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. You recently played Lady Macbeth yep. on the death of his 400th death of his anniversary. Yeah. How was it? It was great. I mean, it was um, this year, it still is. Um, there's a lot of Shakespeare going on in London. And um, I actually was playing Lady Macbeth until two weeks ago at the Globe Theatre, um, Shakespeare's Globe on, on Bankside. And it's the inaugural year of the new artistic director there, Emma Rice, mm -hmm. who's a very exciting force. Um, she's female, for one thing, and um, she has a very particular take on Shakespeare. Um, she's quite irreverent about it in some ways, which is interesting. Um, and she's, she's very much someone who's um, a big advocate for gender equality. So she is casting a lot of roles that are traditionally seen as male roles Great. for women. <laughs> so it's good. Well, uh, you recently also played in the Game of Thrones, which yeah, yeah. is arguably one of the most popular series in the world right yeah, now. Yeah. Um, how was the experience as an actor and just to be part of such a huge production? Well, um, when I started, I, I loved the show before I was in it. I mean, I, I think m for most actors now, they would say if they could be in a show on television, it would be Game of Thrones. They wouldn't say no. No, they wouldn't <laughs> say no. And um, I crammed it before I started shooting, before I was offered a role. I must admit, when I was given the part, I was so happy. I mean, just really, really thrilled. So, um, and then I loved working with Stephen Delane. Um, and no, it's very good. They run it like a very tight ship, and it's it feels. I mean, it's obviously this huge thing, but it feels like a very intimate operation, and uh, it's very well oiled as a machine. Uh, they're very bright. The, the guys who 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 are writing it, and um, it's. When I went away, I went away just. I think I I was in three seasons altogether, and I went away after the second season. Um, just traveling on my own and it was incredible to see the impact on people and of all ages you know and and that's what I think so amazing it's both sexes all sexes all ages you know sure. um, it, it's quite transcendent in that way mm -hmm. do you still watch the show and is there anybody any character that you're actually rooting for to get the throne well I like Queen of Dragons really of course yeah I mean yeah I, I have to catch up on the last season, actually. Um, yeah, but I, I think she's probably my... Queen of Dragons. Yeah. Well, me too. Yeah. Um, when, you, when we look through your career, there's um, cinema, there's a TV series. Yeah. Um, you played a lot of different characters, but one thing they have in common is they're all, they all seem to be strong women. Yeah. Is that true? And is that something you chose? Um, are those roles you've chosen, or did they just come to you that way? Well, I don't know. I mean... Um, yeah, I suppose in one way, the women that are going to be turned into uh, characters worthy of a fiction or characters worthy to be turned into a film are going to be strong or unusual in some sort of a way. Um, yeah, I do, I, or is it slightly that does one bring one's own qualities, mm -hmm. you know, and so in making, creating a character, you bring your own strength. So. I don't know, I, I, I definitely, I was reading something about this actually, another actress was talking about it, uh, this very topic, and I think complexity is very important. I mean, that's where I'm being drawn more and more towards directing, mm -hmm. which is uh, in order to be able to really examine the female, the female character, because I think that women are underserved, you know. Right, um, I was just going to say that um, you, have said that you want to direct in the yeah, future yeah. and you already have one short film yeah, yeah, your yeah. Belt. yeah. Um, what drew you to directing I well I I feel like I can't articulate everything I want in acting mm -hmm. that I love acting um, and I find uh, creating characters one of the most absorbing and fascinating things to do but I do feel like I've got more to say, and I want to examine relationships in a, 
in a fuller way, I suppose. You know, not just be one part of the, the pudding, but actually the, the bringing together of different people and of different disciplines. And I very much enjoy uh, introducing people to each other and um, encouraging people to do their work, their best work. Um, so that's something as a director that I, I really want to make use of. Mm. I think it's important, I mean, it's, it's a hard one because I don't, I'm, I wouldn't think of myself as a fiercely political animal, mm -hmm. you know, although I have very strong a sense of injustice. Um, but I think, but I do feel that the, the female voice, certainly in the UK, um, has, has much more to, to say, mm -hmm. um, and particularly after a certain age. Well, looking forward to those, definitely. Tara Fitzgerald, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.